What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2015 Nissan Sentra. It's got push to start, and you'll notice if you if you go to start it without uh, hitting the brakes, it gives you that little indicator there, telling you that hey, you've got to push on the brakes in order to start the vehicle. Now, let's say you are hitting the brakes and it's still not starting, and you don't you still you see that light coming on. Well, you may have an issue with your uh, stop light switch. Now, this car is actually equipped, and I'm going to push this button here to get that beeping to go off. This car is actually equipped with two different switches here. This bottom one, this is known as the brake pedal position switch. And the purpose of this is to inform the computer when you are just starting to hit the brake, it will actually disable the cruise control. And to remove this, you actually rotate it counterclockwise and pull it straight out. And you'll notice it's got ridges on it here. The purpose of that is when you're reinstalling it, you just push it in until you make contact there. You might want to back off just a little bit, and then you rotate it to the right to lock it. Now this one, the one above it, this is the one that's actually going to prevent your car from starting, and it's actually what causes the brake lights to come on as well. So to remove this, you just push on the tab there at the top and pull the connector straight back. That's the little tab there for you to push on. And this one comes out in the same manner. You just rotate it to the left, pull it right out. The way this works is when this brake pedal is all the way back, it actually pushes this in and it informs the car, hey, you're not hitting the brakes. When you do push this brake pedal, it moves away from the bracket and it allows the little plunger to come out and it closes the circuit. When you install the new part, you're just gonna push it in, back off just slightly, rotate it to the right to lock it, and push the connector back in. So that just about covers it as far as removing and replacing those uh, brake pedal position sensors, AKA the, um, you know, the stoplight switch. Uh, I will mention to you there can be a situation where that switch is working just fine, your car is able to start, but your brake lights don't come on. If that's the case, what you'll want to do is check this 10 amp fuse right here. This one right here, that is your stop lamp fuse, so be sure to check that. So yeah, it just about covers it. I hope this was helpful, and let me know if you guys have any questions or any advice about troubleshooting the brake lights or the ignition system on your Nissan Sentra. Thanks.